How's it going everyone? Jimmy with Lindsay here today. We're going to give you this week's fishing report. Uh, our good friend LJ has provided us with some awesome rock fish information as usual and uh, Lindsay's going to kind of relay some of what we've been hearing from him on you guys and then we're going to get into some more freshwater stuff also. Yep, when none of us have had a chance to make it out for rock yes. fish, I always give LJ a call. <laughs> Talk to him last night. He's still been out there like every single day. LJ with GI Jigs, if you guys don't know him. Um, Fish is on the bay almost every day. Yes, yeah. So he has still been doing really well with those um, bigger, like migratory size rockfish. I know last week they were catching up to like 49 inches. Yeah. This week, I think he said their biggest so far has been 39. Okay. Um, so a little smaller, but still a really nice class of fish out there. Um, most people are gonna be launching from like Solomon's or Point Lookout, that lower bay, bay kind of area. Um, what he's finding this week is that the fish have moved in a little bit more shallow. Um, the surface temperature of the water is a little warmer. So he thinks that could have something to do with it. Um, also, these fish are staging, but they're getting ready to push more into the mouths of the rivers because within a couple of weeks, um, yeah. those fish are going to be up in the rivers to spawn. Um, so the time to get on those big rockfish guys is now. Um, this bite is only going to last for a couple more weeks in the main bay. And then, like I said, they're all going to push up into the rivers. Um, LJ said he was finding most of his fish um, like around 40 feet up to like 47 feet. Okay. Um, so like a little more shallow than what we were talking about last yeah. week. Um, but you are still going to want to use heavy baits um like three ounce metals if you can find them we don't have a ton because it's heavier than what we normally use yeah. but we do have some nice options in stock um really the faster that you can get that metal jig to the bottom the better off you're going to be for those big migratory fish um, and LJ was telling me as well, it's a slow presentation. So not like our fast summer snap jigging. Yeah. The Definitely. water's still cold down there, guys. Those mm -hmm. fish are still not super active. They're kind of, they're hunkering down. They're a little bit cold still. So same presentations, just fish them slower. Just think, think about it mentally. Take your time. It's hard sometimes, but usually fishing slower in the winter will get you the more bites. Absolutely. And then, um, in addition to the metal jigs, Plastics are still working as well. That bigger seven, eight inch profile, um, heavy jigs again, one, one, one and a half or maybe even two ounces. Um, so the rockfish going to be heading into the rivers to spawn yep. soon. Um, yellow perch are going to be the first fish that we yeah. see going up the rivers to spawn. Have you heard anything yeah. about that bite, Jimmy? So there's been a couple people fishing the Severn actually and doing pretty good on yellow perch. Um, not the typical river that people fish for them, but it looks like they kind of showed up there a little bit earlier and they're kind of making themselves known in there. Um, we've had a couple people stop in on their way to Hillsboro, Tuckahoe, all that kind of stuff. Nothing too much yet over there, still a little bit early. But like Lindsay's saying, it's going to go yellow perch first, then the white perch, then the rockfish, and it happens quick. It's going to be like a one month period where you blink your eyes and everything's in the rivers, everyone's fishing in the creeks, and then you're going to blink your eyes again and everything's going to be back out in the main bay. Yep. Um, keeping on top of those fish as they move through the river is super key to catching them. You just have to know where they are, when they move, how they move, and it's not that hard to figure out. Uh, watch our fishing report every week and we'll give you our best guess as to where they are in the mm -hmm. river, but also just kind of get out there and try. You'll usually find them and then just follow them up the river and follow them back down. They have to go one way and it's only one way up, one way down. So once you get on them, just try and stay on them. Uh, as far as other freshwater stuff goes, pickerel, people still catching pickerel out there. Uh, we just got these in. These are MEPS Black Fury spinners, just a little chartreuse spinner, maybe for fishing dirtier, muddier water right now. Yeah, That'd be a great nice. option to kind of get some flash and just a little bit different presentation. They're not used to seeing the painted blades out here as much. Uh, besides that, classic pickerel stuff, still fishing the jerk baits, that cold water. Uh, I was actually talking to Alex, he was out yesterday, and surprisingly, he caught a couple fish on small spinners and jerk baits, but then their bite turned off and they switched over to these glide baits, something a little bit bigger, more aggressive, and they actually started catching fish again. So even though it is cold, some of those more aggressive predatory fish like pickerel, pike, muskie, if you can find them around here, um, they'll still hit active stuff, active fish, bait fish, they're still having to eat in the winter. So just slow your presentation down, but don't be afraid to still throw that big stuff. And then kind of moving down to some smaller stuff. Uh, trout, Maryland just stocked a ton of trout in Calvert County and Prince George's. There's a ton of ponds that just got restocked. Um, classic is just the power bait. The, just take this out, put a little bit on like a very small treble hook, 
And then I like to have a sliding sinker above it, almost like a, a rockfish fish finder rig, just extremely lightweight. Uh, and that works killer for any of the ponds around here if you guys wanna try and get them. And then lastly, uh, one of our employees, Kyle, he was out bass fishing the other day and he was using these three inch haze dong sheds on our new Okashira heads from Mega Bass. And he caught a, a couple fish actually out of one of our local ponds, um, just fishing it real slow, kind of bouncing it on the bottom, same thing. These fish are holding on bottom, they're cold, but they still have to eat. So start small, if you're not getting bites, try big. And when in doubt, minnows. Yes, when in doubt, For those pickerel, yellow perch, yeah. crappie, even if you want to try casting and retrieving a lure, it yeah. never hurts to have another rod yeah, rigged absolutely. up with a minnow under a bobber, because yeah. a lot of times that can entice a bite when the bite is tough. Yeah. And besides that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, just remember, like we were saying, the spawn's gonna happen. You're gonna get yellow perch, white perch, rockfish up in the rivers. And then after that, you'll get the shad. So now's a good time. If you don't know the rivers, start to learn them um, and just keep watching our fish reports and we'll keep you guys as updated as we can. Yeah, it's um, not that really that cold out. So no. get out there and take advantage of it. And yeah. Get out there and fish. Thanks guys. Thanks guys.